Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In today's video, we will discuss why backing up your data is crucial for everyone. We will address the common issues such as accidental file deletion, hardware failures, virus attacks, power outages, and natural disasters. Additionally, we will demonstrate how backing up files can safeguard from these risks and simplify the data recovery process. So for data recovery backup, we have selected a free software called Cobian Backup or you can say the Cobian Reflector because it's a newer version which support all the Windows OS like Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11 including the Windows Server 2008 or newer version. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. We have to go to the browser and type Cobian Reflector and you can see the first link will come as a Cobian Reflector. So you can see this is the latest version 2.7, 2.7.10 or you can go to the click on this Cobian Reflector here and uh, you can see when it come down you can see there are a couple of version here they have a Cobain reflector Cobain backup Cobain backup 10 so these are the different version here so this is the, the latest version which support a Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows uh, 10 Windows 11 and 2008 and ever version so let's go ahead and download this Cobain reflector 2.7 and then it says that is going to download preparing for download but let's click here so that quickly we can download it so it's downloading now it's in progress should not take much time okay download is completed so not now let's go ahead and install it quickly okay click on the yes and it says that select your language so my language is English I can go ahead and select my language here if you are uh, a different native speaker language speaker you can go ahead and select your language from here click on the next accept click on the next and it will asking you for the directory where it's going to install so default directory is good for me if you want you can change it from from here so let's go ahead and click on the next and make sure that uh, volume shadow copy is selected click on the next and install so this is a very tiny software this is not going to take much time to install it so you can see here quickly it's done and now it's clicking on the done so after clicking on the done you can see in the, in the right hand side corner it says welcome back to the Cobian reflector click the software here so before that you have to prepare your uh, external hard drive itself so make sure that your external hard drives are connected to your system so that we can select as a destination so now this is the software so once we have a software the first task we have to do is to create a task task means this software will automatically back up the data like whichever the important data you tell him to back up and it will put to the destination file on particular time particular day or particular month how do we do that let's go ahead and see here so click on that plus here it will create a task and it says that it will ask you to watch what is the task name so i want to give the task now as an important file important file and then you says that you want to full backup or incremental backup so i am going to take this is since this is my first backup so i would go with the full backup now let's see what is in the file say file say that source file name source file which file you want to take the backup so i'll just go ahead and select this directory and um, i would like to go to the desktop and select this this folder important file they were this is where all my important files are there so just click on the select folder and then we have a destination where is the destination where you want to save the file so my i want to save it to the directory is on my external hard drive so you can see here this e is my external hard drive so just select that destination and done this is a very important file you have to select the source and the destination source means from which are the files you can add the multiple uh, directories here let's say if i want to take this backup of the system 32 i can go ahead and select this so you can have a multiple uh, folders added as a source select delete here i don't want to take the system backup system 32 and now it's time to schedule so say that which time you want to do that so this is the automatic process this is for the automatic process so let's say I want to take the backup daily if you want you can select on your weekly monthly depends on you so for me let me select uh, as a daily here and it says that uh, daily what time you want to do that so for me let's say I want to do that at uh, daily after uh, 8 p.m. so 8 p.m. means 20 20 and let's say this is would be the 20 30 so daily 20 30 it is going to take the automatic back you don't have to do anything yes and this is the dynamics so you want to take what what priority you want to set you want to set the priority or high let it be normal itself and said what how much copies full copies you want to keep so let's say i want to keep the 10 copies of my full backup and this is the archive so this is this will come to the advanced next video like we'll discuss about the our compression and encryption everything filters you can say here this is the filters this filter also we'll discuss in the new videos and advanced note so just go ahead and click on the okay here and now you can see the clock 
किए दैट मीन दिस इज हैज बिन शेड्यूल फॉर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थर्टी बट यू नो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू दिव यू दील ऑफ दैट हाउ दैट बैकअप इज गोइंग टू वर्क सो दिस टू रन एब्सोलटली एट ट्वेंटी थर्टी बट लेट मी गिव यू द फील एट लाइक वॉट हाउ इट डज द बैकअप so let's click here and i'm going to run this manually so i say that run selected backup so i can go ahead and run the selected backup click on the okay so now you can see that it says that um, it's preparing for the backup and this is little tiny message here say the backup has just started and you can see this bar here it says that it is working and here you can see the backup has ended without error means this backup is completed backup is done let's now let's go back to our hard drive so this is my e drive this is the hard drive you can see that they say that important files and you can see the date here 25 5 2024 and timing is 20 23 27 and 27 second and we can go back you can see all my files which we are there in this important let's show you on my important Uh, this on my desktop is showing here as, as well so this is how it create a backup now try to understand the situation here i said that it's the accidentally deletion of the file let's say i'm working let's say a group of people are working on this uh, folder this is a shared folder a group of people are working and this important folder got deleted for some reason yeah it's deleted from me. what i can do what i can do right yes i have a backup here i have a backup here i can just copy and paste it here and this will back this will come back to here is it is is a good option for us so we'll have a auto But so the, if you are doing to, going to do this backup, right, you may miss out. Like I have to take the backup, or you may forget. But this software knows that it has to take the backup for that particular time and that particular days. So other example could be the hardware failure. So hardware failure, I can say that uh, let's take take example of this hard disk. So this is your hard drive. Hard drive. This is the four terabyte hard hard drive. So what you did is um, you created a uh, partition. You created a partition, partition one, partition two, and partition three. So you can see the first partition is C drive, second partition is D drive, and third partition is E drive, right? So um, but imagine the situation that you have a data and you 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 say that you are safe because you have. Save your data in the D drive, right? That is what the simple thought is. Like you, you, your C drive is OS drive, and you have saved all your data in the D drive. But what would happen? What would happen if complete disk go wrong? This is your system disk, right? If the disk failure, what would happen? So you have a data backup on an external drive that from there you can restore it back, right? And the second uh, example, you can see that uh, when you have a power outage. let's say in in your area there is a thunderstorm or you can say hurricane or some kind of uh, natural disaster has happened at your area you cannot enter your office so you cannot go to, go to your business or shop or whatever you have but you have your external disk with you in your bag which you carry every day or maybe uh, keep it with you your backup so what you can do is you can go and connect this hard drive to your uh, home pc or wherever you want to connect in and you can get your data without any hassle right isn't it isn't it is a good option for you that so that's what i want to explain it so this is how you can take the back of your data and the next video i will show you the advanced thing that how you can uh, compress your data how you can encrypt your data all the things will be discussed in the next so that's it for today's video if you like my video please subscribe and please comment if you have any suggestion thank you very much for watching my video